2024 has uh, just happened and then uh, you have the topics in your hand i have the topics in my hand and uh, this year also uh, we can see this topics eight topics have come and then it's supposed to be right to fifth uh i would like you to give you a uh, detailed analysis of this i'm going to give you a three part video in first part i would like to give you a broad observation that uh, what this uh, uh, topics uh, as a paper expect and then in the second part of the video i'll give you uh, the the basic contour of those uh, part a of the topics that you have got and then uh, in the second and the third part of the video i would like to give you second part of the or the part b of the essay topics that i'll be giving you those four topics and and broad contours of that well of course i mean uh, my, the general observation that a lot of people have been calling me and then talking about these topics and then uh, if you go for the uh, the first reading of these topics i would find that uh, these are not something which is like uh, extremely abstract topics as has been the cases in the past the topics are something which you can always relate to and then uh, it is a mix of uh, some topics which are not so easy and some topics are fairly easy so on an average i would say that is an easier paper relatively speaking compared to the topics in some years where there a lot of abstract topics were there and then a lot of people found it difficult to relate to them unless they were having some philosophical or philosophy background or, or something of that nature and then um, the the scoring i would imagine this this kind of papers i would imagine that one can really score well uh, average to a very high average is where i would see that the average of this year's paper score is likely to be it's not something where you can possibly be exposed for the angularity and then uh, there is a chance of some score that is getting in a skewed direction it's not going to happen like that uh, mostly people would have uh, uh, those who have prepared well above average score in this and then a lot of people can possibly go for higher scores if i basically talk about uh, the topics here i i would imagine these are the eight topics just uh, for my own mental uh, connect i would like to read these topics once again the first four papers are forest precedes civilizations and deserts follow them i suppose one has to be very clear, careful about this civilizations and deserts words which are appearing of course i'll go into details and analyze this topics and the video contours when i go for the second part uh, the second topic is the empires of the future will be the empires of the mind then also there is no path to happiness happiness is the path then we have the doubter is a true man of signs this is the first uh, part that we have got the second part is social media is triggering fear of missing out amongst the youth precipitating depression and loneliness then nearly all men can stand adversity but to test the character give him power all ideas having large consequences are always simple then the cost of being wrong is less than the cost of doing nothing well i think if you look into the uh, basic makeup of this uh, topics i would assume that they are contemporary uh, if not current contemporary and philosophical a, a judicious mix of them that we have got in fact uh, i would imagine that theoretically speaking upsc has stayed within its band of the theme that it has got of course the topics are appearing within that band here and there and like that but then within that band they have uh, been existing and uh, topics are of course always new i i would also find that uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, cross sectional topics have been uh, taken where if you have studied things i would say interdisciplinary matter then then you will be uh, much more in control in fact i would say the preparation of general studies seem to be uh, very handy in the kind of uh, uh, topics that we have for this year like i can see uh, some connect of history some connect of uh, psychology some connect of philosophy sociology political science ecology and environment the lot of uh, uh, general studies facets that you have got which definitely connect with the kind of topic that you have in front of you in fact uh, uh, the topics are uh, uh, i mean uh, i would say lot of interconnectedness 
as I, I was reading these topics uh, time and again, I found that lots of interconnectedness is required, like governance, society, community, individual, environment, a lot of uh, interconnectedness I can see that exists in the paper. And that is what I'm going to really mention to you. Uh, just to take a few examples, like man and nature, uh, man and nature or women and nature, I mean, this is a very debatable thing. Um, human and nature, human also has got a man content in that. Anyway, uh, person has got a sun content, content in that. Lord knows how one would go about it. But then, let's see. Uh, man and nature, topic one, forest precedes civilization and deserts follow them. I mean, uh, forest can be a metaphor for abundance and desert can be a metaphor for absence absence of resources. So that's where man nature connect is there. Then individual society connect is there. So I was talking about that a lot of interconnectedness in the topics are there. Like individual and society. I, I would like you to read this uh, topic. Uh, social media is uh, triggering fear of missing out amongst the youth, precipitating uh, depression and loneliness. Then also the sixth topic. Nearly all men can stand adversity, but the test of character gives him, gives him power. So this is again, again, I would say that individual and society connect is there. Additionally, one can also see that uh, knowledge and power interconnectedness is there. I suppose you can see the empires of the future will be the empires of the mind. The seventh topic, you can see all ideas having large consequences are always simple. So we find that interconnectedness of the two themes, which is where one really find a lot of topics are coming. And let me tell you one thing. This is not something new. It's not something which has happened now. It has happened in the past also. And then one has to really understand. Uh, ethical dilemma, I mean, that's UPSC is always favorite area that always continues. And uh, like the cost of being wrong is less than the cost of doing nothing. So that's ethical dilemma type of uh, components are also there. And I also feel that uh, the students, who are uh, good at uh, uh, theoretical and I would say uh, on, 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 on a practical connect, the real world uh, context. If somebody can really uh, uh, connect this theoretical and the pragmatic aspects and have informed views, sound analysis, I suppose one can really, really write good essay. In fact, uh, if you ask me, I would assume there are uh, four uh, uh, different kind of uh, expectation where this theoretical and real world connect is, 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 is possible here. One I would imagine is uh, uh, discursive. When I say uh, discursive, that is uh, you'd expect it to give reason of the stand or the discussion that you're making. So discursive uh, assessment or uh, discursive expression is required where you supposed to be has, having logics for talking about whatever you are writing here. Lots of topics, this discursive nature of expression is required. Then also, synoptic. What I mean by synoptic is that synthesis of information of different sources is, is very much expected here. Like you, as we're talking about some aspects of political science, some aspects of psychology, some aspects of history is, is, is very much. So you have to be not discursive, also synoptic in your expression, like different disciplines can be brought in together. In fact, these topics are such where opening the dimensions is, 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 is very, very effective. Also, uh, evidentiary, I mean, this is another, apart from discursive, synoptic, evidentiary, which is where you are able to connect the, the current day crisis with the theoretical base, with examples, with the real world. And I think uh, the issues that we have got, the issues of uh, struggle of power, and then we have got Israel and, and Ukraine and Russia, so many places it's happening. So you have to really connect with the real world evidences. Similarly, we have got uh, lots of debate on social media, FOMO and whatnot, where you can actually pick up the actual examples and have them connected. And also, one more aspect that I expect this topics are expecting is decryption of the complex issues. And decryption of the complex issues, uh, especially when they have abstract ideas. When I say uh, abstract ideas, like uh, you have uh, idea of happiness, idea of power, idea of character. I mean, these are like some of the ideas where they're trying you to see 
how well you are able to describe the things which are in front of you. And that is really very important. And I expect you to be having clear views and ideas about that. Apart from that, in these topics that we have in front of us in, in, in UPSC that has asked, the global concerns are raised. And those global concerns, which is where India is really having a, a decent interface, is what I expect that UPSC is interested, that are you able to connect yourself with the contemporary issues or not? They are broad issues, they are broad categories, but then a specific of India is what has been the undercurrent, why they have asked the topics on, on topics like social media, topics like power, topics like uh, character, topics like uh, sustainability, topics like uh, technology. These are the issues which we often read articles in the newspaper. And these are the ones which is what they're expecting that we should be having uh, clear ideas about them. And then I somehow had a feeling that uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, history. Uh, history has a big heart. It accommodates everything. It accommodates technology. It accommodates environment. It accommodates civilization. It accommodates culture. So a lot of flavor of history, I find that is there in the topics like the first topic, forest specific civilization and deserts follow them. Second topic also, the empires of the future will be the empires of the mind. I mean, that's also a history. A lot of nearly all men can stand adversity, but the test of character give him power. And there are a lot of uh, evidentially of uh, uh, of your history can be handy. Seven topic, all ideas having large consequences are always simple. Even the eighth topic, the cost of being wrong is less than the cost of doing nothing. So a lot of history flavor is there. Also, I would imagine the UPSC, the, the people who are responsible for setting this paper, they're also uh, checking the moral anchor of candidates. This has become very important and very significant these days that the moral anchor of the candidate has to be tested. And that is why they are trying to not only rely on their, I would say, interview as a, as, as a, as a place where they can ask you questions based on that, but also in paper four, and also a lot of it, a lot of it, I would say, is being uh, tested through your essay paper. And, and then uh, there's no reason, otherwise the words like happiness, what, what triggers in your mind when you think of happiness? I mean, that's something which is where your moral anchor can be uh, tested. Character, the word character, true man, power. I mean, these are the things which, when you are writing on these issues, happiness, power, and true man, your real self, your basic element, get reflected. And that is what they're interested in. Also, the kind of topic which I see here in front of me uh, from 2024, your capacity of decision-making is also being tested. Critical thinking is also being tested. And that has been a, a common thing, I would imagine, for uh, UPSC. They have always done in the past that they, they put you somewhere in the fuzzy domain and expect that you are in a position to actually come out with your uh, views and then you give your flavor of uh, shade of gray that you have got. Like I can see this topic, the empire of the future will be the empire of the mind. I mean, that's something which is where fuzzy and they want to see where you stand. You have got topics like the doubter is a true man of science. I mean, I, I, I would imagine that uh, how you take this flavor. Then we have got nearly all men can stand adversity, but the best, the test of character, give him power. I mean, these are the topics one would imagine that will get your critical thinking, your decision making, your stand, and your uh, mental contours that will be uh, basically visible to them. I have realized one thing, and this is I have been uh, mentioning in the classes regularly, the wide reading, I mean, especially reading of nonfiction. When I take you to the topics, I, I would like you to actually take you through some of my own readings uh, and of the nonfictions, which has become very, very handy. And then through that, you get an idea that how these issues which are being talked about um, in the world in, in terms of thick books of the contemporary nature, the various thinkers from Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, uh, that's a very difficult tongue twister for me. Uh, Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, I mean, the, the flow theory, that's, I, I think I'd like you to explain to you. Also, we have got many more uh, contemporary thinkers like uh, uh, Yuval, uh, Noah Harari, and then so many of them, uh, uh, Fukuyama, a lot of them are reflected in the topic. I would, when I take you to the, uh, uh, the, 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 the second and the third 
part of this discussion, I would like you to uh, give you details about how these things, they, they, they are reflected in the topic that we are talking about today. In fact, your wide reading, your broad reading, and then your uh, capacity to analyze them and then use the minds of the big names that I just gave you, uh, use their minds and then try see as to how you can make your essay really, really effective. So basically, if you ask me, I'd say that your reading is one component. It's a triangle I normally refer like that. Reading, wide reading, broad reading, diverse reading, nonfiction in particular, reading of that nature. Also, uh, analytical ab ability. This is the kind of base on which you have got your expression is resting. So the triangle at which this essay is actually your reading, your capacity to analyze, critically think, and also your sense of expression, writing practice. If you have analysis, you can think very, very layered, but then you can't express, it's, it's useless. If you have not read, you will not have that many dimensions to think of. So this is the triangle on which this essay would uh, actually be expressed. And I find this year's paper is ex extremely, extremely interesting. And uh, in, the, in the next part of the uh, video, I would be talking about uh, such content that how you can build up. My target is actually uh, not those people who have already given mains and they would be uh, going towards the interview. My target is you, who is going to write this uh, paper uh, next year, that when you are preparing now, what all factors that you should be keeping in mind. Of course, I understand that these topics are not going to be repeated, but the themes are repeated. I can give you a lot of connect of the past themes which are coming from a particular band. Within those bands, different topics can be uh, thought about and then they can be uh, prepared. So you prepare on theme and develop lots of skill of analysis and develop a lot of skills of expression. You are good to go. So uh, this is all in the first part of the video. I, I will be coming up with the second part and then I'll explain further about uh, those uh, uh, two sections of the essay topics that we have got for this year. Thank you.